Hello, my name is Mars, and today I will be playing Shadows Over Loathing. This is a Lovecraft inspired uh, comedy RPG and the sequel to 2017's West of Loathing. West of Loathing is an important game to me personally because it's the first RPG I ever played as a novice gamer. Uh, I remember it being very funny and very accessible to me as, as someone who was new to RPGs. And accessibility is still something I value a lot, even as a more seasoned gamer. Um, yeah, while well, West of Loathing had a Western-inspired theme, this one has a 1920s Lovecraftian aesthetic. And I say aesthetic, but all the art is stick figures, so <laughs> that's kind of a, a broad term. Uh, this game is also reportedly much larger than West of Loathing. Like, it's bigger than its predecessor and its DLC combined. So this might be kind of a long series, but I have been itching to play this. Um, and I think I'm just going to jump right into it. Start a new game. Is that... That's not me. Oh, WASD. WASD the Moving Company. It's how you move. It, this smells like a diner. And it smells like they're open. Hopefully they don't have a no shirt, no shoes, magazine stuck to your face, no service sign posted. Alright, it already looks like this is very uh, familiar to me as someone who's played West of Loathing. They ha it looks like they haven't changed it too much. Muscle, Mysticality, and Moxie, that's even the same. The stats are even the same. Oh, there are familiars in this game, though. That is pretty good. Each round of combat increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie. Wow. When you were four years old, Grady flew in your bedroom window and refused to leave. He's been with you as a familiar ever since. Should I unpack? They'll probably give me a... a, um... um... hint to unpack. You shouldn't bother anybody until you get this magazine off your face. Okay. Try coffee. You'll like it eventually. There's some kind of big glass and metal box here, but you can't actually see what it is. Okay. <laughs> Go to the bathroom, I guess. It's the bathroom, probably. You blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror, revealing... Yes? My face! Oh, it's more customizable than last time. Um, let's see. I like to make uh, my characters look a little bit like me. Um, so I'll probably go longer hair. Let's see. I have red hair, so I could go with either one of these. I'll go with, with her. There you are. There I am. A couple of older folks are having an animated discussion. Well, one of them is. Humph. The way these young women act these days, with their short hair and their sassy talk, and their dresses that even don't... that don't, don't even cover their... their... ankles? It's scandalous. And these dances they do, flailing around like I don't know what. I'd have thought Prohibition would have put the kibosh in that sort of tomfoolery, but no, sir. Can't imagine dancing a waltz to the music they're playing nowadays, though. And that's the problem right there. This newfangled jazz music with all the drums and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that anyway? Jazz. I think our cups got switched. You're supposed to be drinking decaf. Some petty vandal has scratched the name Dan Bob into the surface of this table. That's probably a reference to somebody. Ooh, they've got one of those new meat-operated multi-selection phonographs. Meat-operated. Meat is the currency in this game. 
so I probably can't play it now. <laughs> or jukeboxes, as the kids call them. Neat. Oh, hey, there's something in the corn return. I got one meat. <laughs> nice. A couple of young women are chatting, chatting breezily over coffee. Hey, kitten, what town is this? Poughkeepsie. Ah, Poughkeepsie, New York. Are you two traveling? Yeah. Oh, Poughkeepsie, that's me. Yeah, Ocean City's turning into a real sawmill, so we boosted her jelly beans breezer for a weekend world to the hot potato. Oh, Bushwa, you make it sound like we went south with it. I flew him a kite, everything's Jake. Jeez, I'm pretty sure I'm only three or four years older than you two, but I barely understand what you're saying. What are you, a cancelled stamp? Go s put some pepper in your shoes. Uh, yeah, I'll try that. I'm gonna get some good uh, transatlantic accent practice, I feel like. Because <laughs> that's the only way I know how to make people from the 20s talk. This man is concentrating very hard on his coffee. Hey there, is there something particularly interesting about that coffee? It's my first one. Of the day? No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it's a bad beverage. It's bitter and it makes my stomach hurt. Oh, well, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another one after this, though. And then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. Well, enjoy. Oh, hello there. I'm Ethel. <laughs> I can choose a name. Um, I'll go with one of the defaults, I guess. I'll be Vivian. Vivian sounds like a fun 20s name. I'm Vivian. Vivian who? Vivian who? Vivian Saunders. Pleased to meet you, Vivian Saunders. What can I get you? Can I get a cup of coffee? You sure can. Best cup of coffee in the state, if I may say so myself. That'll be one meat. Great. To go, please. Ethel pours you a steaming hot cup of fresh black java. You got diner coffee. It's a potion. A paper cup of fresh black coffee. It smells better than any coffee you've ever had on this trip. Anything else, hon? Does the bus to Ocean City pick up here? Sure does. Should be here any minute. Good thing, too. I hear we're in for rain tonight. What takes you to Ocean City? My uncle lives there. I got a letter from him. He wants me to help him with something. That's a reason, hun, but it's somebody else's reason. What's your reason? Hmm. Surprisingly profound for this studio. <laughs> Ethel locks eyes with you. I, uh... Um... I just really want to help. Your uncle must be pretty important to you. Of course he is. He's family, after all. Got a perk, big heart. You've got a big heart, which stores both a lot of love and a not insignificant amount of extra blood. Plus three, maximum HP. Aw, what's your uncle's name? Murray. She smiles. Murray's one lucky guy. Ooh, character sheet. Alright, I've got... Muscle is strength, mysticality is magic attack, moxie is range attack. Uh, I'm sure the game will explain all of that. Ooh. I can buy upgrades with XP. Ooh. That's pretty interesting. Okay. This case contains three pies, which is exactly three pies more than you can afford. Oh, I accidentally talked to her again. Alright, I'm sure I gotta get on the bus now. Ethel, Ethel said the bus will be here any minute. You pull out the letter you got from Uncle Murray and read it again. Murray Morris, Murray's Antiques, blah, blah, blah. Dear Vivian, I hope this letter finds you well, and I hope it finds you quickly. Something quite serious has happened, and I need the help of your adventuresome spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you are able, please. Your uncle, Murray. 
Uh, a clown. Clowns were a big thing in the first game. There were demon clowns who hated demon cows. I watched a Let's Play of West of Loathing recently, so that's how I remember all of this. You're just about to go mad from the monotony of this ride when the bus suddenly judders to a stop. You look out the window, expecting to see the sights and sounds of Ocean City, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Uh-oh. Excuse me, sir, what happened? What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Nope, sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Ah, uh, jeez. You didn't fill up before we left? I filled up the bus, but this trip, trip takes exactly one full tank of gas. He hands you an empty gas can. Plus one additional can. It's a crude device, but it beats keeping your gas loose on the ground. Swell. Why do I, why do I have to get it? Well, I go myself, except for two reasons. Those being, firstly, being as I'm the bus driver, I'm legally responsible for this bus, and I gotta keep an eye on it. And secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fellow that doesn't want to go wandering around in the rain at night. Well, all right then. Guess I haven't got that much choice. Can I borrow your umbrella at least? This is a left-handed umbrella. Um... I feel like this is going to give me a perk if I say I'm left-handed. I am left-handed as it happens. But you aren't registered to my umbrella insurance. Nuts. Sorry about that. Here, I do have a flashlight you can use, though. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. What this bus lacks in comfort, it makes up for in unreliability. An old billboard from before the war. Drink red cola, protect your family. Here's some gas. Six meat per gallon. There's a little bit of gas left on this pump, but there's no hose on it. The pump is full of water instead of gas. This gas pump is empty. I guess I have to find a hose. Ah! Gotta get used to the controls. Either they're out of postcards, or all the scenery around here is invisible. Empty oil cans. A whole pyramid of them. There's an old baseball bat leaning against the wall here. Grab it. Baseball bat. And that's equipped now. A classic dirt wall slugger. With this, you can either take somebody out to the ball game or just take them out. Deals your muscle plus one physical damage. Um, I don't know what the deal with potions and stuff is in this game. Uh, there's one object left on the snack shelf. Cheese loaf. Ew, nobody in their right mind would consider this vile substance a snack. Um, what's this tile? It's weird that the cash register is pointed toward the front of the store. Loot it. It's mostly empty, but you find some loose change. Seven meat. <laughs> this sign says employees only. Are you an employee? Yes. Really? You never mentioned working at a gas station. Ugh. This hurts. I hate lying. I hate lying. Yes, really. Well, okay, if you say so. Go through. A desk presumably optimized for doing gasoline-related business. Four of the drawers contain nothing but old receipts and pencil stubs. The fifth one is locked. If a broken radio can still be considered nice, this is a pretty nice radio. This shelf smells like axle grease and old paint probably because that's what's on it. This shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. You don't have any use for any of them, though. The shelf is full of old personnel files. I'll look myself up, sure. I'll be darned, here's your file. You do work here. <laughs> Sorry I ever doubted you. This is your personnel file from the abandoned gas station you work at. And I gained XP. Each object you examine on this shelf is dirtier and more boring than the one you looked at before. Okay, go here. Filling station garage. Alright, I don't have enough mysticality for this machine. Stand clear of lift before operating, Steve. Must not have power. He really wants to know the story behind this sign. It's a big tool chest, but all of the good tools have already been stolen. 
A fuse box, hmm. As advertised, this is a box containing one fuse. However, the fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for a replacement. Must be one around here somewhere. Alright. So already this game has a lot a big adventure game feel to it. It it said on the store page that this was an adventure slash RPG. Um as someone who loves adventure games, I I'm obviously into that. The old flyver looks promising as a source of gas, but you can't reach it while it's up on the lip. Okay, so I need to get the power on and get the gas from the car. Or I can find a tube and buy some gas. Probably. No, I, I, I don't think that I can buy gas. Finnegan's optional boxing gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. A miserable looking hitchhiker is standing in the rain, listlessly sticking out her thumb. Hi there! Her head turns very slowly to face you, and her eyes don't quite meet yours. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh. Also, I don't have a car. Oh. I love how this game is centered in real life places. What's your name? I'm Vivian. Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia. Although I admit the circumstances aren't great. So what's in Albany? Do you have family there? No, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Haha. -ha. Okay, that's fair. Do you know where I can get some gas? Gas? The bus I was on ran out, and the driver sent me to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Ocean City. I've never been there. Well, okay then. How about this rain, huh? Lydia looks very slightly surprised and glances around slowly. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, sure is. What a night to be stuck on the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. Well, anyway. Seen any good movies lately? I saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Oh, that's a classic. What did you think? It was very scary. I liked it. I prefer comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one, The Cameraman? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's great. You have to see Sherlock Jr. It's my favorite. Really terrific. Um, read any good books lately? I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Oh yeah, H.G. Wells is great. Have you read his new one? The War in the Air? I didn't care for it. The one I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forgot the name, but it was terrible. His early works are the best, like the time machine. Yeah, I loved that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on, Lydia. So, um, um, okay, bye, good luck. <laughs> Didn't get much out of that. This feels extremely corny. Oh, jeez. Hey, uh, I ain't want to be unfriendly, but this is a private residence that y'all just barged into. Oh, geez, sorry. Everything's so desolate outside. I guess I just assumed this place was abandoned. Well, come morning, you'll be right, so you might as well get out in the rain for a spell. Thanks. My name's Vivian Saunders. Howdy, Vivian. I'm Elias. Elias Chekhov. Make yourself at home. Farmer Chekhov. These boxes are labeled bears. Are these boxes really full of bears? Nah, those boxes are all canned pears. I had a little fun writing the labels is all. You want a can? I got one left that didn't fit. Bibson's Extra Sweet Pears. It's a can of pears and a syrup label described... The label describes as sickly sweet. They should really hire a new copywriter. Increases your mysticality by one until you eat something else. Ah! These boxes are labeled gears. What's with these boxes of gears? My daughter Simone left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep them for her. That makes sense. These boxes are labeled tears. Wait, are these boxes of tears or tears? 
Don't be ridiculous. You can't put neither one of them in boxes. That don't make any kind of sense. A kitchen sink brand kitchen sink. A collection of stains makes its home home on the range. These boxes are labeled shares. What's in here? Stocks? Scissors? Shears? Oh, she, he spelled it wrong. <laughs> he spelled shears wrong. This is a very large box, considering that one people own either zero or one class rank. Is this box really full of class rings? Yep, about 140 of them. Did you go to college 140 times? <laughs> nah, of course not. I just collect them is all. Why? Well, they're rare, but not very rare. They're all different in interesting ways, and they're shiny. That There's the collecting trifecta. That's a very respectable Elias. I get that. Um, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> it's Chekhov's gun. There's a rifle hanging over the fireplace. Are you leaving this rifle behind? Yep. How come? Well, it's a varmint rifle, and where I'm going there aren't any varmints. There's vermin, to be sure, and critters and such as like that, but the almanac don't list any examples of a varmint qua varmint, if you know what I mean. I think I know what he means, like... Vermin is like rats and stuff, and a varmint is like a coyote or a, a badger or something. I do know what you mean. No need to fret over it right now. In any case, that gun is for later. Later? Yep, much later. Huh, okay. <laughs> There's a weird device on top of this box. What's this funny looking thing? That's a duck call. What's it for? It's for calling ducks. Oh, fun. Used to be. Don't work anymore and accounted it being haunted. Haunted? Yeah, well, not haunted exactly. Bunch of spiders got in there, and now it sounds all scary when you blow it. I see. If you want it, it's yours. You gingerly take the duck call, trying very hard not to think about spiders. You're pretty sure this duck call is haunted, but you can't remember the story of how it got that way. Reduces an enemy's muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one when you hawk it at them, once per fight. Like, I can already tell this game is a lot, um, more intricate the first one. What spiders? Good job. <laughs> oh, I wasn't talking to him. He's got another gun. You take the gun and leave the socks. They don't look safe. You spend all that time cleaning your gun and the rain comes along and ruins it. Typical. Those your moxie plus one physical damage. What's over this way? That scarecrow is a bit more intimidating than usual. The crows around here must be real aggressive. Show it you aren't scared. Oh, my familiar fights too. Weapon attack, haunt and quack. Um, the shoot crow. Five. Okay. So that's how much it'll hurt me. I like that visual. Um, one physical damage. Pick up a rock and throw it at a shoot crow, dealing two physical damage. Using a skill that costs an action point does not end your turn. Your turn will not end until you make a basic attack. Okay. Um. Um. I kind of want to honk at it. Alright, now it's going to do one less physical damage to me. Vivian Saunders honks at a shoot crow, reducing its muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one. Okay. The previous game didn't have this, um, summary. Oh, I get one AP back. For some reason, I remember AP being per fight and not... Um, 
Okay. Great of the Finch is going to sing a pretty song, increasing one of your stats by one at random. Okay, I thought it was, um... For some reason, I thought it would increase all my stats. I'm gonna throw a rock. Probably should have thrown a rock the first time. Okay. I'll just hit it. Yay. Now it's just a regular scarecrow with a gun. You gain 5 XP. Excellent. Okay. And I think... Yeah, HP... Um, HP loss doesn't carry over from fight to fight. It's an old tractor. There's an old rag shoved in where the gas cap should be. Pull the rag out. You pull the rag out and sniff the tank. It looks like there's a little gas left in there. Collect it. You dip the rag into the gas tank, soak up all the gas, and then wring it out into your cast. One third full gas can. Okay, so I probably need to, let's see. Where is it? Um, I need to get it from the gas station, the car, and the rag. Okay. Should I unpack my luggage? I'm gonna do that. If you open the thing in the rain, all your stuff will get wet. Okay. So that was our little tutorial. I probably won't read like every single thing. The store looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Ask where it leads. Where does the store lead, I ask you? Spare bedroom. Spare bedroom. Ain't been using forever. I didn't even bother opening the door since that dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself, though I doubt you'll find much of use. A dust devil? Yeah, those critters are a real nuisance around here. They're attracted to beds that ain't been cleaned under properly, and since I lost my broom back in 26, it's been a real, what did Simone call it? A nutrient-rich environment. Ornery little beast, real territorial. Okay, I'll be careful. Hope Westerns. The gunfight at Horse Thief Gulch. The fistfight at Dry Creek. Cattle Women of Revenge. Okay, that's probably just going to be a bunch of joke titles. A tasteful arrangement of dried fronds. A dusty old night sand. Ten meat! Chekhov said these things are pretty dangerous. Okay, the fact that it's um, telling me not to do that <laughs> makes me not want to do it. Um, ask if I can use the bathroom. Sure. How'd you know that door is the bathroom, though? I've always had a knack for knowing which doors lead to bathrooms is all. Well, good for you, I guess. Flush the toilet. You've got enough XP now to learn a skill. Open the character sheet via the icon in the top right or hit C. Okay. Um. Well, here's the thing. That machine in the... Um, I'm intrigued by that machine in the garage. So... I think I'm going to get me some mysticality. You might not be the sharpest tool in the drawer, but you're not the dullest knife in the shed. Your mysticality helps you figure things out, sound smart when you talk, and deal... Sorry, and deal damage with magical weapons, mostly utensils. By the skill. Yes. Okay. You can see your face in Elias' mirror, just like you're a mirror back home. Hi, Vivian. Hey there, good looking. Aw, uh, what's wrong? <laughs> okay. A vicious clawfoot bathtub. This door is locked with some kind of elaborate electric lock. What's with this door? Oh, that's my daughter Simone's room, who's left for college. Hopefully she ain't left anything important in there, because I plum forgot how to work that crazy lock she invented. I see. Hold on. Um. How about I eat the pears too? 
You open the can, using the can opener, you keep hidden in your sock in case of can-related emergency, and eat the sugary pears. Sweet, too sweet, in fact. Ooh, I have enough for... Oh no, I changed my expression permanently. Smile, okay. <laughs> I don't want to be sad. Elias is looking around and mumbling to himself as he checks off his mental to-do list. So you're moving out? Uh, yep, I finished packing, so now I'm just waiting for the movers to come and take this last load of stuff. You've got movers coming in the middle of the night? Nah, in the morning, but I went and packed my teddy bear and forgot which box he's in. Can't sleep. I see. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. I never particularly cared for farming anyhow. Just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckoned I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get up to. Huh. <laughs> nice. So what's your story? What are you doing out in a knot like this? I got a letter from my Uncle Murray. It sounded urgent, so I hopped a bus to Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I gotcha. Well, I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Thanks. I gotta warn ya. You'll have to fight my daughter for it. What? Well, technically, I should say my daughter's monster. What? It's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an auto-ominous robo-traption to help with plowing and harvesting and the like. Worked real nice, too. Well, problem is, after she left, it blew a what's-it tube and got violent. I'm pretty good with machinery, but when it comes to these newfangled electrics, I might as well be a dog trying to read Play-Doh. So I locked it in the barn. Ha, huh, I see. You're welcome to try your hand against it if you've a mind to, but please be careful. It's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. Thanks. Okay. Well, before I do that, I think I want to check out the car in the garage. Or the weird device. Because I have three mysticality now. Figure it out. There's an engraved plate on the side of it that says Helco Portable Gasoline Generator. Aha! It's a machine for generating portable gasoline. You extract today's crop of gasoline from the miraculous machine. I got two-thirds of a full gas can. Okay. So there are more than three ways to get gas. That's... I mean, not surprising. This is a game where there are all... Or, this is a game series, rather, where there are a lot of ways to do everything. Um, but yeah, let's look in this barn for the last bit. You heave the doors open and leave the key in the lock in case Elias wants to lock up again later. Go on in. Based on the arrangement of objects around you, it, you conclude that this is a machine for turning hay bales into loose hay. <laughs> you have recurring nightmares about searching for something in one of these. A baleful pile of hay. You're not going to get past this thing without destroying it. Destroy it, then. Okay, HP4. That's wow. This thing is not hard. I throw a rock, and then I bash it. Okay. Pretty easy. Simone's monster is now just a pile of parts on the floor. You went through a lot to gain access to this can. Accept your reward. Full gas can! All right. So. Now that we have a full gas can, I think I'm actually going to end the episode here. Um, I think that's a, a good, satisfying start. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm already really enjoying this. Um, I, <laughs> I missed doing the voiceover work in Hobbs Barrow. Um, this might be a little much for me, honestly, but I, I'm still having fun doing the voiceover, uh, reading the narration. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know this might be kind of a long ride, but, you know, it's already 
fun and funny. So I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this series. So thank you for watching. I have been Mars and I will be back with more Shadows Over Loathing.